Hey everybody, this is Travis, and I've got a big box. I was actually pretty surprised they were able to fit this inside the extra box at the mail thing. And let me tell you, this box is the exact same size as the place they put it. So it was a son of a bitch to pull out of my mailbox, but I'm really, really excited to open this box. What's inside? Let's find out. Alrighty, so here we have it. This is one my wife and I like a lot. Two little adorable robots. I love that one. That one's really cool. Um, here's a little witch. Of course, with the green and the dark <coughs> clothing, reminded my wife of the Wicked Witch. She's a big Wizard of Oz fan, so this was a must-have. And this one I saw the last time I bought it. And I couldn't make up my mind on this one because I liked it a lot, but at the time we weren't sure uh, space-wise how much we were going to get. But I, I like Nick's art so much, I had to get this one. This one is just, is, is just awesome. The zaniness, the crazy, crazy eyes coming out remind me of some of those uh, almost like Royal Red and Stimpy, but almost like uh, the old rock and roll art style. You know, the craziness, like tattoo almost style art cartoons. But this is really, I mean, I really like this one. And then I really like what he does with the backgrounds too, with this, with the colors he uses. It's really, really interesting, really neat pieces. I've got some stuff from Lou coming. Eventually I ordered some buttons from him. I'm not sure when those will arrive. I think those were pre-ordered, but when I get those, I'll show y'all. Um, he also sent me these. These were extra. And this one is one he's done for the drawing contest. I really like that one. That's really interesting. Really minimalist approach, but really complicated with the stippling. It's a really, really cool little piece. And then here he has a Cyclops. And also with the hook arm. I'm pretty sure this was for the urban legend ones with the man with the hook arm. This is the classic urban legend. This is really, really good. Again, showcasing his awesome style. Uh, and here we have a little gremlin dude with tentacles, and I really like that. That's really neat. A little goblin dude. I think this one. I think all these were for drawing. Yeah, because that one's the missed one. This one might have been for goblins or for tentacles. <laughs> I don't remember, but it's really, really neat. I really like his style. It's really cool. And all right, that was this package. Again, as always, I'm never disappointed with what I've seen of Nick's. Here, let's move the camera over here just a little bit. I've never ever uh, everything I've gotten from him has just been awesome. Immediately when I see one of his pieces, I immediately know who's done it. He has a very, very distinct art style. And if we go up here, we can see my growing collection. Um, these Adventure Time ones that I have, these weird Adventure Time. I can't, we looked up the artist again on Etsy because I was curious the name. I didn't remember who did this. It was just somebody we found on Etsy that we liked a lot. But uh, their page doesn't exist anymore. So I don't know what happened to the person who does the Adventure Time ones. If anybody happens to see this and knows who was the artist, <laughs> all I know is their Etsy page and it's not in existence really. So. If anybody knows that, that'd be awesome to tell me, because I really like their work. I wouldn't mind finding some more of their stuff. And then up here we have Lou's uh, pinhead thing I got from a, a horror block a while ago. And then there's Nick's other ones. Um, the Christmas themed ones I got from them I'm going to put out for Christmas. So I'll show that when I have that up with all my decorations. And eventually I'll post a uh, my Halloween decoration video too, so you can see all of these neat little dudes all over the place. Little hangy dudes here over my uh, dining room table. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll try to have a Halloween video up sometime in the next couple weeks because I want to get all my decorations. I'll do a collection video so you guys can see my collections of toys I've collected my entire life. So, we'll get to that. Uh, Hopefully in the next couple of weeks. I've got some other videos I'm going to upload soon, so look out for those. And as always, thanks for watching.